the 2019-20 Philadelphia 76ers or the 2019-20 Minnesota Timberwolves? Mm, that's a good one. Two seasons from now. I actually think the Sixers. I think the Sixers have a chance. I mean, you have, well, first of all, both teams have great young players and, and fun to watch. But I, I, I think Simmons, his skill set, MB sort of, you know, kind of as a, as a center, assuming he stays healthy, I think they will add the right complementary pieces. They brought in J.J. Redick this year, kind of renting him for a season for uh, a lot of money. And, uh, but I, I, I do think what Ben Simmons does and, and just his ability to make other people better, players, guys will want to play with him. And then Embiid is just special. Uh, I, I like what, you know, I like that they finally have turned the corner and I like the upside. And to use Zara's logic, they're in the Eastern Conference. Oh, back to that again. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. going to agree with you that oh, it's man. the 76ers. And for these reasons, I agree. I, in, in that season, which <laughs> Grant, is... Grant seems very upset by that. Huh? Which is two seasons down the road. Jimmy Butler will be two seasons older with more minutes, with more games under his belt. So will Teague be two seasons older. Jamal Crawford at that time will be 96 years old. <laughs> and he'll still be playing, making wanna, jump shots. I want right? to fact check that. Four, not, four not, point players. Sure, okay. That's correct. So we have a couple of the guys who may be, you know, Taj Gibson, who may be getting a little bit older. Meanwhile, the Sixers should be entering their prime with a lot They'll of They'll still all be 23. Guys. Exactly. <laughs>